How's it going, Corey the Poet? Oh, it's going great. Oh, great. I'm just so happy to be here with you. This is uh, Corey the Poet, and we're in Corey the Poet's Valentine's Lounge. Okay. How's it going, sir? Oh, it's going great. We're here this evening for the Valentine's show that I'm getting ready to put on. You know, it's the season for lovers. So, Corey the Poet is here getting ready to give a little something special to the people. All right, all right. Now you have a couple of singles that have dropped. Could you give us a little information on where they've dropped, what they're about? and? Absolutely. I, I don't want the people to be confused by my name, Corey the Poet. They think I'm just doing poetry. I actually infuse my poetry with song and with music. We make them mingle together to create something special. And you're right, I do have a couple of singles that's out now that's actually on uh, the live radio, that's on the radio right now. One of them. My current, I actually have two of them right now that's on the radio. My current one is a gospel one, and it's with the legendary Lenny Williams himself. Mm. It's called Thank You, and that one's been playing all over the nation on all kinds of radio stations, main radio stations, internet radio stations. You can get it anywhere, you can hear it anywhere. And I also have one that's in an R&B flavor that is called incense, wine, and candles. And that one's just been released uh, on the radio stations also. It's getting great results, great airplay right now. And that is also being, it's uh, featuring Dyson Tate. He is the lead singer now for Tony Tate. I am a prison of you. You have my interest at gunpoint. And my heart, my heart strapped to a hand grenade and surrounded by TNT and they covered in nitro glycerin. See this? This is why I am mentioning the fact that my love is ready to far exceed any and all of your expectations with the most grandiose points. Because I can feel you, honey. I can feel you, babe. I can feel you. In every single one of my joints. See, this is my point. I have a life planned for us. Yeah. Yes! We good? Yeah. Wow. I know, I know, I know. Some of y'all thinking to yourselves who've never seen me before. Wow. This is not what I expected out of poetry show. I'm shaking and moving and grinding and whining. It's all a part of our being. <laughs> it's okay. So we want to show the continue. I'm getting this one right here. Fellas, real quick. How many of y'all in here? Honestly, know that the woman you were with, if it wasn't for them, you wouldn't be the man that you are today. And it made you a better person. If that's true, makes a little bit of noise. Hey! Oh, my brother stood up. Yes! That's how you do that. Oh, oh, I hear people say, oh. <laughs> you can stand up for me? That's all right, they stand up for you. Hey, hey, hey. What? Yes, yes. yes. I'm just looking right here. All I can see light right in my eye, but I see this right here going, mm, you're just gonna sit there, huh? Okay. <laughs> That's all right. Well, this one, this is for you guys. Here we go. You may not know this, but I overheard you ask yourself, is he the one? Am I the one? Well, see, you're the only person who can answer that. As a matter of fact, let me put it to you like this. When people first meet, their attractions are 90 percent superficial because it's based on what a person looks like. Right? Well, sweetheart, pay close attention to the words that are about to emerge from my mouth. 
When I first met you, it was like my world was in reverse because I fell in love with you from the inside out. And I'm not trying to sound obscene as I describe this scene, but physically, your beauty wasn't even seen until I had a conversation with you. It's like you drew the plans, you handpicked and designed your man, you took boats and rivets and you drilled into this steel frame to maintain a solid structure. And then you laced my feet and put them deep within concrete and you used every element in creation. Now I know there's no way on God's green earth that I would ever crumble as a man with you as my foundation because you put in a lot of the work, a lot of overtime and a lot of efforts that was spent. There's been days when you had pondering expressions on your face. There's been a lot of corrections and a lot of erase marks up and down on this page, but never once did you relent and because of that. Because of that, you now hold in your hands your life's future plans, plans that draw and it's out on this blueprint. This blueprint that will never, ever will be for you. So you took that hammer and that nail. Basically what I'm saying is, So let me go past the epithelials and dig deep into your marrow so that I can tap into your energy. Understand that my love is deeper than the ocean, so won't you come swim with me? See, I'm not trying to make a special moment. I'm trying to create a lifelong memory. And as I ingrain our love in your brain, it will affect your gray matter. Our love is never black and white. That's why I pray it matters. And as our cerebellum starts to vibrate and then begin to wiggle, it will slide your right brain and shift my left brain until we can meet somewhere in the middle. And logically, I will analyze the creativity between you and I as I remain true. And as far as our life pictures together, sweetheart, I've already been framed just for you. See, that's why. That's why I've been on to you so tightly with the desperation. In fear or trying to interfere with a separation. See, I can appreciate Abraham Lincoln and his proclamation, but from your love, I do not want any emancipation. See, I'm a slave for you. And to the rest of the world, my willpower is so impenetrable, but always seem to carry me for you. It's like they got me on ecstasy. Got me running around here dancing and swinging these glow sticks on the inside. I'm sick. am made for you. So let me answer that question for you. So that in your lifetime, you won't ever have to guess. In my 
innermost thoughts, smiles at your outer presence. Miss me. See, this is how close to you that I want to be. That I can physically massage your heart. And if that's not enough, then here's our song. Te quiero a ti porque tú eres mi corazón. You know, Valentine's weekend event, and we're going to be talking about love and all that good stuff. And love is a beautiful thing. Love is a wonderful thing. Love sometimes don't work, you know? And we're going to talk a little bit about that. But we're going to talk about it in this way. You know how you always say that it's always the man's fault? Uh, I, 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 I'm going to say, don't act like it yet, right? Most of the time it is. <laughs> If I told you that I was human, would you believe me? Sweetheart, if I told you that I live, love, hurt, just like you, would you think that I was lying or telling the truth? See, because sometimes, sometimes I don't think that you believe that I'm human. Just like you. See, and although I try to love you at the speed of light, it only reminds me that I'm no man of steel because loving you shouldn't take all of my mind. And it doesn't matter how much x-ray vision I wish I had, I can't seem to get you into my sight. See, I can't see through your walls or through your halls of injustice. Trust this. And then you say things to me like, can you see what I'm saying? Are you listening? But sweetheart, I don't have super hearing and I can't see what you're thinking. But with me being human, the only thing that I can do is try to guess what's on your mind and pray that I get things right. See, but it doesn't matter how super I try to treat you. You always seem to be my girl tonight. Leave me blue as you can't bang on my heart like you're my personal crypt tonight. Killing me slowly and softly. Even my emotions in the crib tonight. See, you're my arch enemy for life. That's not funny for me. It's like you're my Les Luther, my Solomon Grundy, my Solomon Grundy to the end. See, we were supposed to be super lovers, but right now, we're not even super friends. And apparently, adoring you just isn't enough. You say you wanted a good man, sweetheart, I just called your bluff. Because there's nothing on the face of this earth besides my child's birth that more important me than your birth. I made sure I put your wants, your needs, and your desires first. And all those jealousies and insecurities, I sent that shit back. I made you understand that I'm not just a man of words, but I'm a man of action. See, my devotion for you. Well, it's driven by my emotions for you. See, it's like I've been in love with you since the age of seven. I can guarantee that my love for you has tortured the heavens. See, I embraced the thought of us so much that I couldn't even fathom that love would ever fell us. Which leaves me completely depleted and sore. See, I'm not that good man that you asked him for. I'm that great man that you didn't ask him for. See, when you took my love, balled it up, and you tossed it. And when it comes to love, it should leave me completely exhausted. There has never been a better state when it 
comes to my love for you, it has always been 100% off the grid. But I can't begin to blame love because love didn't let us down. You did. I did. How many of you guys have heard of American Idol third place? Place I think she was uh, Miss Latoya London from the third season. Yeah, you heard. Make some noise. You heard Miss Latoya London. Yes. Beautiful. I got the opportunity to do this song with her. You know, I was born in Los Angeles, California, but I lived here for the first 14 years of my life, and I moved up to the Bay Area, and that's where Latoya's from. So I'm certain people run in the same circles. You know, she knew who I was, I knew who she was. We finally met, got together, like, man, we would love to do something together. And this is what we did. You ready? Yeah. Okay, two people ready. I'm gonna ask everybody else. You ready? Here we go. I'll raise my hand. I raise my 
my hands up high. I raise them all the way to the sky, Father. See, I raise them to the truth. I raise my hands. Come on with me. See, no matter what you're going through, you can get through it. Just raise your hands and pray for them. There you go. Let me go up there. And I know as a man 
and I've done some things wrong, but best believe I've done a whole hell of a lot of things right. See, and I'm no, I'm no Lorenz Tate. This is no Love Jones. But I'm gonna be the blues in your left body. Trying to become the phone.
you must be made up of a collective or a derivative of some kind of legal substance that I just cannot refuse. See, I've never in my life used an illegal substance, but right now, black woman, you are my substance of abuse. Because you're the only being who can caress and impress and then terrorize my mind. See, you're the only being who can make me happy and angry at the same damn time. See, you're the only being who can get the absolute best from me and then make me want to quit. See, you're the only being who can make a pastor in the middle of Sunday service scream out, oh, shit. Black woman. See, you're the only being who can build my confidence and then cast back. Because you're the only being on the face of this planet that I just cannot live without. So again, allow me to elevate you like you so deeply deserve. Black woman. Yeah. Every time you go, yeah. I'm gonna, yeah. Yes, you can find that in every store. Just saying. <laughs> All right, we get ready to we get ready to wrap this thing up. We got about three more, and I'm done. You good with that? Yeah. You good with that? Yeah. You good with that up top? No, okay. we want more. <laughs> we want more. I like that. You ready? Yeah. You know, I'll do this right here. Right here. No. <clears throat> here we go. It turns me on. Here you go. Oh, you didn't know? Everything that you do turns me on. I wrote this for you. When you wake up in the morning, it turns me on. As you step from the bed to head in to take your shower and lotion your body until it's complete. Even prior to that, you even sexy when you sleep. It has me jealous and envious of the colors in the sheets because they contour to your position. Yeah. 
Here we go. Alright, this is my last one for the night, ladies and gentlemen. And before I go, let from the bottom of my heart. 
want to say thank each and every one of you guys for coming out to my show tonight. I do appreciate that. Yes, 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 thank you. And continue to do what you're doing and make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to bring a friend. The next one we're going to be is astronomical. That's right. So, thank you guys for coming out. Yeah. I appreciate it. You guys have a good night. It's been real. Oh, wow. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, wait. One more. Oh, that's right. I didn't forget. I didn't forget. <laughs> about to get cut, man. I was done. <laughs> All right. This last song is here. This last one right here. I mean, okay. Again, let me ask you a question. Because this is one. How many of you guys are happy that you woke up this morning? Make some noise. Yeah. Yes. Yes. We get ready to do a, we get ready to celebrate tonight. That's the name of this last one. It's called Celebrate Our Love Tonight. Can we celebrate tonight? Yeah. I'm sorry, can we celebrate tonight? Yeah. Yes, DJ, here we go. I, I wrote this one for people who can do that Chicago style step thing. Yeah, I can I do it. I can act like I can. Yeah. What? We hate for a reason tonight. To celebrate all seasons tonight. Celebrate our love tonight. Hold hands and dance to our love tonight. Not worry if they understand our love tonight. Listen to me. Here we go. When you were conceived, it was believed that I was ordained for you. Love stained on Sistine Chapel glass in the winter took my soul pains for you. My knowledge and respect gains for you, while my protection and love gains for you.
Come on, Paul. Yes. You ready? Ready. And go this way. Ready? Go. To the left. To the left. Right. To the right. Uh, to the right. Now. Spin around. And tip. Tip. <laughs> We're going to celebrate our love tonight. I don't see why you still sitting in your seat. This is the last one of the night. Yes. Philippines Princess Maria uh, Torres, uh, who has come all the way. Maybe you can stand. Um, she came in to give us a particular award, and we are very happy that she was able to come and join us today. Fantasy is reality, odyssey of a dream. This is the story of a little girl with a dream. She fantasized about being a princess, woke up, suddenly she was a queen. From humble beginnings she arose embraced her condition and helped everyone she knows. While others trembled amidst a dying world, babies dying, and the spirits, blood, and all types of the most terrible things you've ever heard, the little girl's dream grabbed her by the seams and went to the most dangerous places, it seems. Nepal, Malaysia, Africa, Istanbul, lands in which terrible famine and freedoms are so misunderstood. Princess Maria trod where few men would go unarmed. No bullets flew from her, no one to sound the alarm. Upon wings of humanitarian flights bringing food, life-saving tools, books, and hope. This girl from Manila, the land of Ali's thriller Ropa Dope, continues to this day to become the seemingly impossible while helping the voiceless forgotten others to cope. Little girls dream of being queens, the princess stared lightning, bottled forever, and became a queen. And her love for all, caring, sharing, is so alive, for real. The fallen officers, disadvantaged, and dignitaries love her, caring for her best riches in her heart. It seems this little girl was already a princess, a queen, already from the start. You keep the magic alive, on and on, hey, 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 oh. Yeah, princess, take it one heartbeat at a time, saving lives all over the world, girl. Sooner or later, you'll be saving the world. Take it one heartbeat. 